Oh, he actually saw me? Oh god, where did these guys come from? Whoa. Ah, he did another one! What the fuck? Why is this guy kicking my ass so hard? I'm on fucking fire! Status abnormalities have a variety of negative effects in battle. Before an abnormality is fully inflicted, a resistance gauge is shown. When the resistance gauge is full, Wolf becomes afflicted. There are items which suppress the resistance gauge or outright cure these abnormalities. Right. Dude, what is happening? Why is this guy, like, so fucking hard? This guy just came out of nowhere and was like, hey buddy, fuck you. This is actually really infuriating. God, what a douchebag. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna start this over. <laughs> Rest should cure everything, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just try all that again. And I guess... If I'm gonna be running around this area, I should really be using... What is it called? The dousing powder. For situations like that where I'm on fire. Shit. I didn't mean to jump down there. Hey, buddy. I really hate this guy, by the way. Out of my life, dickweed. Whoa! Okay, they know where I am. And they're shooting flaming arrows at me. Actually, I feel like at one point I missed something over here. So let's just ignore those guys. Because I'm clearly just... not in the right headspace to actually fight them right now. And let's pop over here. Ow! What the fuck?! Why do these guys know where I- Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, you're so fucking dead. I hate your face. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it, that makes me so angry. I didn't think these guys would know where I was. But they obviously do. Fucking awesome. Why would you lock onto that guy way over there? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. Wow. Apparently, I have approached this area completely wrong. Oh. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's just freaking start over. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. <sighs> Trying to save up enough experience to actually, like, buy a new skill. And that's clearly not going well for me. I'm all ready? All fucking ready. Ugh. I keep forgetting about that guy over there. Um, this is fine, though. Except... Whoa! Really? These fucking dogs. Yeah, so I jumped over this... Alright, well, at least the Shiraken takes care of those guys really quickly. The dogs. Okay, I gotta reset, get back to zero, and just kinda unfuck myself here. I feel like the stealth is really unforgiving in this game, for a game that's like, trying to be so stealth oriented. Like occasionally, it, it really just screws you over. Like right here, who's seen me? I'm standing in a fucking tree. 
Like, if you're not safe here, where are you safe? Like, okay, he lost me eventually. Oh, now they've seen me again. It's all because of those stupid archers. So I'm not going to drop down there again. Because that didn't go great for me last time. I'll try to see if they'll lose me. Okay. I just want to come up here. They are not going to lose me. Shit. Get up there. Yeah, so I, I remember we eavesdropped on somebody around here, and I feel like there was someone else to talk to. I feel like it had indicated that. Look at this drunken guy down here. There we go. That's the shinobi way. Uh, maybe there wasn't, though. Okay, okay. This lock-on is killing me. Oh, man, that really messes with the camera sometimes. Oh! They always attack as soon as I start that fucking move. Back out, heal up, reset. Dickhead. Okay, so right there. If you guys back up the video about 10 or 15 seconds, when I first locked on to that guy that I just killed right there, like immediately after I killed this guy, the whole time, for the first like five seconds I was locked onto him, I was holding down block. But it wasn't actually blocking, and I didn't realize it until like five seconds later, and I was like, oh shit, I'm not actually blocking. And I don't know why. Like I I swear to you on my life, I was actually holding down block there. Oh shit. Something in the fire, but that guy's also, like, guarding me. That was very stealthy. <laughs> really? Fine, whatever. Ow! Dickhead. Okay. What is in this fire? Flame barrel, an iron barrel that spews fire, can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of a man alone. However, a fire-based weapon can be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. Good. Good. That is one of the reasons I wanted to come back to this area. Really? Get out of here. Uh, that's great. We found another shinobi tool, guys, and that's actually going to be a really, really useful one, I feel. All right, so let me see. This might not, uh, this might not have even been the right area, but I feel like there was someone else to talk to around here. Maybe it's like up one section. Yeah, it, it might have been. We eavesdropped on somebody, and they said like, "Oh, there's, there's a guy over here who wants to fight the samurai." Sorry, the shinobi. Two different things. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe it was that guy. <laughs> that drunken dude wanted to fight the shinobi. Well, he got his wish. Is 
there's so many individual houses here. I kind of just want to make sure I look in all of them once. It's so easy to miss items in this game. Yeah, I guess we're good here. Okay, I'm in really crappy shape. I've used all my heals. And I do have a full health bar, but who knows what the hell I'm walking into up here. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, so I feel like by and large, I've been trying to dodge too much in this game. And I guess that comes from the time I did spend with Dark Souls, which wasn't a lot, but it was enough to realize, like, you know, dodging's integral to that game. And it seems like this game really wants you to be blocking more than dodging. It seems like you get punished for dodging too much. So I'm going to try and focus on that. <laughs> Yep, I already did that. Actually, it hasn't super come in handy just yet, but I'm hoping it still will. Oh, I came back here. Okay. I didn't realize that this path wrapped back to this area. So we kind of have to go this way, actually. Be up there, please. Oh, this is the spot I was thinking of. Right, so I think there's somebody inside this little area here that I want to talk to. Who's this guy? I don't think he's an enemy. It's not letting me lock onto him. あんたも火事場泥棒ですかい旦那は見たとこ忍びですかね何か探し物でもまあ何にせよここは足が先に見つけた場所でさよそをあさってくださいああそういえばどっかの崖上に三十の塔が見えやしたぜ Okay. Thanks for the heads up on that. Three-story pagoda. Weird, just a random looter hanging out here trying to get inside this house. Well, you're not attacking me, so I won't attack you. I've got enough enemies in this game. I don't need to be creating more. All right, let's see if I can help these folks out at all. I wonder, if I drop down and do a stealth kill on the ground, I wonder if the guy in front of him would notice. I actually really want to test that right now. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Yep, he noticed. Whoa. Ah, yeah, this guy's strong. Damn. What's up with him? He had a lot more health than the usual gaggle. Can't talk to them. Okay. What if I drop in from over here? Yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking of. Shinobi Hunter, he's highly skilled if I don't face him. I mean, there's not much honor in, you know, fighting an injured guy. 
But if you really want to go at it, I won't say no. The whole time in the back of my head, I was just thinking like, oh, I bet you I can like talk to this guy or get an item from him or something. And now it seems like actually maybe not. <laughs> oh, here we go. お、感じな時に俺の飛んだ役立たずめ。サーリー。いや、もしや。この人族を手引いたのではあるまいな。さもなくばこの平田屋敷が。こうもあっけなく落ちを思うか。そうよ。そうに違いないわ。いねえ。
Whoa. Okay. That'll work. That will work. Let me up there, please. Okay, Sculptor's Idol, Sculptor's Idol. I really need you right now. But I don't see any close by. Okay. Grapple over there? Probably take a swim down there. Maybe I should go look for some more carp. But I'm also in like a really good position to take this guy out right now, so... Let's do that. Oh shit, that's a... That's a strong guy. That's what that is. Oh, he's got a projectile. Man. F that noise. I was going to say, I got to be able to grapple somewhere from here. <laughs> Maybe you should just hold down R2. Let me see if that works on this one over here. That's the whole trick. You don't mash R2, you hold it. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Now I know. Now I know, guys. I will learn this game, damn it. It might take a really long time, okay? There's going to be a lot of mishaps and trial and error, but I will learn this godforsaken game. I swear. I swear. There's like a whole path back there that we could swim down. I wonder if I'd find a sculptor's idol that way. I also wonder if I could come back once I jump down there. Okay. Um oh, I can't get up there, can I? Alright, that's actually a dead end. But I think we can grapple from over here. Okay, where am I now? Where even am I? I have no idea right now. Did this bring me to the other side of the river? I don't know, but let's try and get this guy. Can't open that door. Don't seem able to get on top of this building. I just want a sculptor's idol. Where's this path lead? So now there's like three different paths to take in this level. And at this point, I'm just like literally completely lost. Oh boy. That guy has a spear. I can probably do a Makiri counter on him if I need to, but I would much rather do a stealth kill. Something tells me he's not going to turn around, though. Yep. Or is he? I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's try this again. If I... Oh, there he goes. There he goes. This is my chance. Got him. But I pissed off his buddy down there. Okay. Yep. 
Makiri counter. Oh! Oh! That was really fast. Okay. Yes, walk away. Walk away. Damn it, that doesn't work. Ah! And I'm dead. He got me. Fuck! I was ready to do the Makiri counter, but I wasn't ready for him to attack so quickly. <laughs> oh, man. And that attack he did was strong, as it turns out. I'm going to have to start all the way back at that last idol. That's before all the enemies. I know I could probably stealth past most of them. But, um... We should probably go back at this point, honestly. First of all, spend all my money. It's better than losing it. Got 195 of those in storage now, so that feels really good. <laughs> and then let's go back to the temple, because now we can build a new uh, prosthetic tool. It's going to be the fire, and that's going to really come in handy when I find another guy with red eyes. What is up, my people? I feel like it's been a while since I've been back here, actually. <coughs> Present Shinobi Prosthetic. Flame Vent. So this is... A prosthetic tool made from a loaded flame barrel costs, fire, costs spirit emblems to use. Deals fire damage to enemies via short-range blast fire while also inflicting burn status. I wonder if this is a good thing to use just in general, too. Like, if you do it on a regular enemy, does it make him more vulnerable? You would think that being on fire would make them more vulnerable, but I would also understand if the game didn't use that logic. It is difficult to control the rage of those with red eyes through the power of man alone. They do, however, fear the flame above all else. Got it, got it. And like all the other tools, we use R2. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Prosthetic Esoteric Text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with Shinobi Prosthetic grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need all of them. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's get that bad boy equipped. Let's make sure we don't set M on fire. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I don't want to risk it. Dope. I can just shoot fire out of my hands. Freaking Street Fighter style. I love that. You got anything new for me there, Emma? Oh? わかったのか。はい。かいを得ました。龍外の代わりの力をどこかから奪っているのでしょう。Dragon's Blood Droplet. 
An item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with a recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon rot will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. What? Offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. What is the recovery charm? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, is, is this supposed to make sense to me? Because it doesn't. A dragon rot recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can suffer a dragon's blood droplet. One can offer a dragon's blood droplet and a sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with dragon rot back to health. The charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. So, dragon rot restoration. The recovery charm allows dragon rot sufferers to be healed from a sculptor's idol. A dragon's blood droplet can be consumed to heal dragon rot from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all rot essence to disappear, returning the chances of receiving unseen aid to the default value. So it's a consumable item? How many of these am I going to get throughout the course of this game? Can I buy some? The dragon rot restoration menu is now unlocked in the sculptor's idol menu. Consuming a dragon's blood droplet will restore to health all those afflicted with dragon rot. Okay. Do I want to use that now? Or, like, should I wait? I don't know. This menu still only has spirit emblems. Which makes sense, because it says purchase spirit emblems. The good news is, guys, it seems like, even though I died, I didn't lose half of my overall experience. Like, I didn't lose a point. Because if it was counting from the first point and then everything after that... I would have lost, like, a full point and gone, like, back to less than one again. But I think it only counted from the experience after this point. So I think you can't lose experience points. Which is great. So, okay. With one point, I can learn mid-air deflection. Might be handy. Or I can learn run and slide. Allows one to slide into a crouch position while sprinting. Sprint through an area and slide into cover or otherwise out of view. This would help with the stealth aspect. Or I could try to save up. And I could get an ability that just makes me more stealthy overall. A latent skill that reduces an enemy's ability to perceive those who are in stealth. That seems like a really good thing. And then there's also karma body. Increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Uh, that will probably be good at some point, but it doesn't seem necessary yet. I think I'll probably save up and try and get this one. Because that'll really help me out when I'm trying to be stealthy. Because clearly I need that kind of help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you guys have any input on when Dragon's Blood Droplets should be used to restore your Unseen Aid, let me know. Like, is that the kind of thing you should just use it as soon as you get it? Should you wait for a certain point in the game? Should you wait until you're below a certain percentage? I'm at 12% right now. I don't know. Unseen Aid doesn't seem super helpful anyway, because even at its best, it was only 30%. So maybe it's not the kind of thing you really need to stress over, but I'm just curious about, you know, what you guys think about the strategies and whatnot. So let me know your thoughts. And, uh, yeah. This is, uh... <laughs> this game is something else, man. I am enjoying it, though. When we come back, we'll probably go back to the memory three years ago, because I want to keep trying to press through that area, at least find the next Sculptor's Idol. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back and try that mounted boss again until I find the uh what is it what do we need my mind is kind of mushy right now the the gun the gun thing I can't remember the word oh my god I'm I'm being an idiot and I'm just rambling you guys know what I'm talking about we're gonna wait to fight that guy until we find the thing we need so uh yeah okay thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode of Sekiro you guys take care Oh my god. <laughs>